for Martin's autistic misunderstanding. If he asks his son, who's living in his house, to mind his own business and be quiet and leave the room, and he can't, should I be able to ask him to leave the house? This is lying. I streamed it. Last week you said you were going to do this shit and you did it. Can you just leave me alone? Look, I'm lying. He got caught on camera. That's not caught on camera. He got caught on camera. Now, hold on. If you can't stop, You're look, on camera, for my psychologist, stop me. That's a lie. For my psycho, my mental health. If he can't stop lying and gaslighting me, if he can't stop lying and gaslighting me, saying he's not going to do it and then ambush me places, he can't live here. It's not good for my mental health. If he can't, if he can't act his age and shut up, and he's saying, don't be rude, but I, I asked him nicely. You guys heard me over 15 times ask nicely. On a live feed that's, I messed up video editing, my high school fucking genius AI techniques. I made it up. But he needs to, he needs, if he can't get it together, he gotta move out. And listen to him like, trying to be all calm. If my dad can't get it together, he gotta move out. If he can't deal with me talking shit and running my fucking mouth, he need to leave the room. He got a problem. Martin, I want you to get off No. Okay, look at me, Miha. Huh? Okay, you gonna defend him is gonna be the reason he can't be here next fucking week. Think I have me I, mean, I have autism and you're gonna allow him to do this shit to me, me huh? It gets bad for me. <laughs> Somebody's a kick. I'm not kicking him out, but I will point out that he, how he, that he fucking lied to the counselors and the psychologists. He fucking lie. He fucking lie, and then and then his mom get attacked. His mom get attacked because he be lying that I'm violent. So then people pretend that I'm violent and attack me so they can rape his fucking mom. Because he can't get his shit together. His mom get raped because he can't shut his fucking mouth. That's fucking crazy. He's 25 years old. He can't stop his fucking mouth from running and stopping his dad from having an autistic meltdown. And I tell him, look, I got autism and meltdowns. And he like, I know. I'm like, okay, good. Be quiet and leave the room when I'm having an issue so there's no problems. So we don't have to have this shit no more. And you guys hear him say, yeah, okay. And then when the phone's on in my pocket and he don't know, what the fucking first thing he doing? And somebody ta told him to do that shit. He got caught lying on fucking camera. Look, he didn't lie. And so he got to say that shit probably for his girlfriend. And imagine that shit when his kids get older and have to look at this shit. You said that over and over again? You didn't lie? Like, we're watching you, Dad. We're watching you. It's fucking digital legacy. Like, we watched you for months. Now, you one fucking time you carried it on for a fucking year? Two years? <laughs> you held on to it? You literally, you knew it induced psychosis like it was causing your dad's suicidal thoughts and you wouldn't fucking let it go? You, you literally were like, fuck it, I'll let my dad kill himself. I ain't dropping this fucking lie. If he kills himself, I say face. I left the room when he asked. I ain't got no, I'm not fucking instigating shit. <laughs> yeah, I had to fucking go to, I had to go to fucking counseling, man. And he is just a f fucking in my house. He in my fucking house doing this shit. This is fucking idea, like being nice. Yeah, I'm here to help you. Running your fucking mouth? That's not help. Gaslighting your fucking mom? Look at it, gaslighting his mother so other people can take advantage of him. That's just my son's fucking idea of help. Lying to his fucking mom so that other people can reinforce his fucking lies and she can be exploited. This is my fucking my, my son. And I'm not I'm supposed to not be upset about that shit. He can come to my fucking house, gaslight me, and I said, don't do that to me. He goes, oh, fuck it, I'll just lie to my mother. I'll gaslight my mom. To the point where she'll fucking believe it and other people will take advantage of her. And when they do that shit, I'm not going to protect my mom. I'm going to allow that exploitation because I'm the one that fucking instigated it. I'm the one that gaslit her. I have a right to be fucking pissed. <laughs> Martin family. You want me to adopt you? You fucking come to my house, I'm going to do this shit? You know what's funny? I had the Catholic Community Services count and I was screaming at my son and my wife and they're like, yeah. And then my kids and my son's like, he's so abusive. He's so mean to me. And my wife like, yeah, he's so violent. And they look at him and like, you know, in other countries, these kids where they come from, the husband or the dad just pop them or they kill them. Like your, 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 your dad just fucking screamed for five minutes and he went outside and had a meltdown for two hours. We think the boys from these countries probably could see that. So instead of them killing their spouse or killing somebody, they just go fucking scream about it and they go stomp around outside on the, for four hours. Literally. This is the fucking the authority. We would like to give you kids so they can have meltdowns just like you. This is my family. You fucking got problems. You the devil. You Satan. 
You a druggie. You a crackhead. You a fucking druggie. You a rapist. This is my fucking kid. <laughs> you got mental health problems. I mean, you fucking in my house lying and I'm the one with mental health issues? My son, my son can't fucking pant. Why my son says, you tell people I have mental health problems. I have autism. I'm like, you can't. Real life, you guys, he can't stop fucking lying. And so it's either a mental health problem and you guys cut up some fucking slack or he really fucking evil. What am I trying to do? I live stream it. I think it's a problem. I don't think he evil. I think he got a fucking problem because people in our life gaslit him into thinking that was acceptable behavior so they could manipulate him into causing fucking problems. Right now we're getting somewhere. Somebody manipulated my son into thinking that's fucking normal behavior. So they could manipulate him into instigating shit with me. So they could take advantage of the situation. And now I'm having fucking problems breaking him of that. And he wants to come. They want to put him back in my house. After training him to cause a fight so his mom can be fucking exploited. And I have to fucking like, oh, how do we do this shit? How do I make it work this time? I am calm. This is my wife. Look, at I need to calm down. Look at her. I need to calm down. But how do I make it work this time? You're not, it's not working by you doing what you're doing, Marty. It, Miha, this is, this is my wife. It's not working me doing what I'm doing. When I don't stream, right, my son and they, they lie, I'm violent, I attack my wife, and my neighbor Jerry, the, the Coxes, Susan Powell's parents, attack me. People attack me. You guys see? I fucking have to fucking battle to the death in fucking Walmart, Target, all over the fucking place. They attack me. Fantastic work. Thank you very much. They attack me. And then it's all a lie. And so we do the same shit. And I said, look, this shit is violent. I don't want to do this shit again. Can you guys just leave me alone? No, you got a problem. I'm asking you to please get off. I'm asking you to please get off. No, I'm a liar, baby. I'm not calling you any names. I'm asking he you to is. please get off. Get no, me. No, no. Because it's rude, me, huh? Okay. No. You don't think it's rude? Listen, it's rude. For, for him to be able to talk that smack to me and her not stick up for me in my own house, knowing I have PTSD and anxiety, and him literally telling her to his face, my dad has mental health problems. I'm not, don't snatch at me. I want you to get off. Don't do that, Miha. Okay, I got PTSD. Okay, you know what? Stop Other snatch. people have feelings too, so you need to get off. You're not the only one. You need to get off. Leave me alone. We left you alone for like hours. Okay, and keep still doing it. Miha, because he's up there talking shit he's to you. Not. We're having a conversation about other stuff, Mark. Well, well. I don't want Miha. No, I. Miha, I can hear. Okay. This is my. You guys, I stream that shit. And this is my thing. My wife. Martin, it didn't happen. And then go to her fucking counselor and be like, my son was talking shit and my wife got involved and wouldn't stick up for me. And my wife would be like, no, that's not what happened. And then she's like, my husband needs behavioral therapy. Okay, you know, he needs anger management. He's all this shit. Martin. And the counselors go, okay. And then they look at the live feed and go, oh my God. Martin. He asked 20 times. He got autism. You didn't say that. And then they abuse me. The authority abuse me. Are you going to get off or not? Because if you're not going to get off, then I'm not going to hang out with you. Are we going to hang out or are you going to talk to me about Pedro some more stuff? I'm, I'm done not. with it. Ago. To hang, Miha, you're up with your son. You know, you're telling me to get off because you don't want to hear me. Look at my wife. They're up there hanging out. I got to get off the phone so I can sit down by myself and be lonely. Well, I'm just saying. I'm not lying, Miha. Are you up there with your son? This is my wife. They don't understand. Them being upstairs and then having me get off the phone does not provide me any company. So me saying them doing that makes me lonely and not a lie. He don't need to instigate shit. You know the thing in behavioral therapy too? You can't get violent. But if you scream enough, maybe they'll leave you alone. And they say, oh, maybe eventually, eventually everyone get a headache. Everyone get a headache. I'll tell you what though, from this shit I learned, you never trust the U.S. Army. Fucking terrorists. Scamming me. Literally. <gasps> yeah, this is what you're saying. The frequency is inducing anger. 
And it's like, yeah, I got PTSD in my behavioral therapy. Leave him alone. Stop gaslighting him so the frequency doesn't induce that. And they're like, nah. I mean, think of how crazy that is. They're like, no, we have this other thing. We have that leave him alone for autism, let him stem, do his technology, so he'll calm down. But we've heard this other shit. It gets him really riled up. It causes a lot of problems. And then he can be attacked in public and people can steal shit. If we do it this other way, we can get him assaulted. We can get him jumped. If we do it this other way, my neighbor Jerry can fucking break into my house and rape me with his friends. And then my son and everybody will fucking lie about how they were fucking helping them. I wasn't having a meltdown and being, being fucking raped because people wouldn't leave me alone. They were saving people from me. Well, they don't want yeah, so I can have company. There's some fucking interest in this room right here. I'm sitting in here right now. There's some fucking Jerry torture me. And I looked him in the face. And I was like, it was you. It's been you the whole fucking time. And then he beat me in my head so I wouldn't remember that. But I had a phone in like, you know, over there on a piece of yarn. <laughs> you know, you plug it back in. And I hear myself going, oh, shit. It's fucking you the whole time. And the fire department set it up. Or all this homicide and soldiers dying overseas is literally because the fire department covered up the fact that you hid instead of going to jail. For some military people. Trying to blackmail other, other countries. <laughs> Adopt you? It's so fucking crazy. You want me to adopt you? My wife and my son are like, they can't fucking stand me. I need to shut up. <laughs> you guys on here? He, I need to shut up. I gotta shut up. I gotta If I remember correctly. It was the military and the FBI. They had terrorist organization. Hello? What's up, Martin? Not much. <laughs> Dealing with a meltdown. How was this How meltdown compared to my other ones? <laughs> uh, I didn't break anything. This is, you guys remember when I streamed these meltdowns when I was in uh, 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 Roy Y out there living at my sister's? I just smashed my keys. I put the phone up in the corner. So I got this uh, sprint called a Phantom Cell, and I put it on the outside of the house. In my room, in my bedroom, I put 24-hour security feed. Well, not secure, live stream, TikTok, Instagram, 24 hours a day, seven days a week because I'm literally, they were fucking stealing shit, being fucking evil. My brother-in-law just standing there in human feces eating ice cream. So I put a stream up there. And I remember, like, you guys see those meltdowns. I'm literally breaking, I broke my keys. i slamming shit on the ground. This meltdown is nothing. But you think about how sophisticated, and I talk about the training for the Airborne Rangers. I put up a phantom cell from Sprint at my sister Monica's house, and I streamed 24 hours a day, seven days a week for months, the military coming in and out of there, all the crazy shit that goes on. And ain't no one tell the fuck, any really crazy this shit. Not one person in Roy called the FBI or the police. Ain't no one say shit. Sometimes I have a half a million viewers. Ain't no one say shit. And I think about, like, I was pretty fucked up half the time, getting beat up and choked out and shit. What the fuck was going on so bad that a half a million people were like, fuck that, we ain't calling the Army. And the FBI showed up to my house to ask me what I saw. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's whack, man. You got one crazy life. Oh, that ain't nothing. But before, before, I, before that happened, we was out there um, – for a bonfire, like a bar, I don't know if it was like a fourth of July, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. I was out there hanging out with my family, doing, you know, hanging out shit. And uh, my sister, it's like, so I can't remember if my sister, I think she's like, someone's here. It was a fucking U.S. Army unit showed up. 
Oh, shit. And I remember, I think it was Matt from the FBI. This is what I remember correctly. I was held like this, like all the soldiers were murdered, and I was held like this by some FBI officials, literally with my face like this, and they got my hand full of hair, and one of them grabs my hand and puts it on some paperwork and was like, sign this shit. That was for, I think it was for Courtney Hunt. And then I believe that, I think the guy was Matt, if I remember correctly, but literally. And I was like, before I went out there, because of weird shit going on, mm -hmm. I had made sure people would know, you know, document that shit. So the FBI, literally, a bunch of U.S. soldiers got murdered, and the FBI, at the end of all the homicides, needed signatures for information to be stolen. Yeah. That the FBI. So it's like, I'm sorry, look at this. God damn, the FBI have been actually covering up a lot of, they, they're involved in a lot of fucking treason. No, I bet. Like, I was like, damn. Somebody, somebody went through somebody went through that whole fucking unit and ghosted them. Really? Do you know who? Nope. Nobody I knows. just know that the FBI, I just know the FBI, they said it wasn't me because I was, they had me incapacitated, right? I was hamped up like this. Yeah, yeah. Right when they got me, I was I was tied up and shit. I couldn't have done it. Right, and then the, when they showed up on the scene of the crime, the, the FBI had to cut me loose so they could secure some signatures for some paperwork for the extortion. So the FBI had already had it planned out. Once all the U.S. soldiers were murdered, they were waiting in the bushes. They didn't show up in a fucking car. They didn't show up in a helicopter. They came out of the bushes with fucking paperwork in hand. Cut me free go, to sign man. some paperwork. At that point, he's just like, a normal person would, would not think anything. So I think situational awareness, remember every detail. Red, remember every detail. But if it was you, you'd be like, okay, yeah, the FBI, uh, me. I'm like, hey, you fucking come in a car. There's no, there's no helicopter. There ain't no fucking parachutes. They literally came out of the bushes. So they were either already here and documented all the soldiers being murdered, or they were already here not yeah. documenting it, just waiting for the soldiers to be murdered to secure the signatures because they only came out of the bushes to get the signatures. Once all of the soldiers were murdered real life shit. The only, that's when the FBI, they came out of the bushes. The FBI came out of the bushes after the soldiers. I'm like, you didn't come in a car. I didn't sell them that. I'm just thinking in my head, like you didn't have a car. You don't have a plane. You don't have a parachute. You don't have a helicopter. You came out of the fucking bushes. So nobody knows you're here and I'm signing paperwork. For you, the FBI. I'm going to sign some paperwork for you, the FBI, and you're making sure no one knows you're fucking here? Huh. How long do you think they've waited? Again. I, well, you know, the military, they can drink a lot of fucking beer. So I'm going to probably say from like 6 o'clock in the afternoon to like 4 o'clock the next morning, like 22 hours, 23 hours, literally. At least, at least, because by the time, because that's when the first ones start popping off. So, like, it's like, you know, six o'clock in the afternoon, four, you know, four o'clock the next day, four o'clock the next day, you know, soldiers start, you know, popping off, falling asleep, blackout drunk. As time progresses, you get into a full, cl well, I shouldn't say full, close to 24 hours, and they were all, they were all incapable of doing what they were needed to do. So, then I start, like, I pay attention, like, the FBI came out of some bushes, Literally forcing me to sign paperwork, but they only came out of the bushes at the exact moment. All of the soldiers were inebriated, had done cocaine, and that's just fascinating. Like the FBI knew exactly when to kill that soldier, when he would be the exact moment the high from his cocaine would have hit him, and he'd be too distracted for ten seconds to stop the FBI agent from 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 taking him out. And so, so, so the FBI, they watch these people like all night. They go, okay, when, the, when Mark's talking to this dude in the gray hat, when he does cocaine, ah, for five seconds, he does this ah, for five seconds. And you go, you know that dude Mark's talking to, the, why, he done that seven times. On the eighth time, he went, ah, somebody fucking shot him with a silencer or somebody stabbed him. And so, now look at that other guy with the blue cap. He's on his sixth. Ah, and, so, and it's interesting. After his eighth, ah, from the cocaine high, he ain't been seen from either. So you start paying attention. I'm like sitting around a fireplace, and the middle, this is getting all drunk. And people are not, like, literally, they're going to the bathroom, not coming back. I'm pretty, you know, I have paranoia already. 
<laughs> like people are going to the bathroom, they coming back. He was walking out to the field to fuck with a pond, they ain't coming back. People are going literally, and they're just not coming back. And I'm like, all the beer is here, all their drugs are here. There's no pussy in the trees. This is my brain. Like, there's no pussy in the trees. There's no alcohol in the bushes. There's no nicotine. There ain't no chew. There's nothing out there for them to come back. And ain't no one fucking coming back. Whoa, it's, every time. Ah, it's like I start counting. Literally, I start fucking counting. I said one rail, two rail, three rail, four rail. It's about six rails in, real life, about six. Ah, and the soldier ain't never seen again. And I start paying attention to the soldiers. They're like, the first time they do it, they're like, Ugh, for like a second. It's just a second. An hour go by, they do it again, and they're like, Ugh, for like two seconds. As the night goes on, literally, the Airborne Rangers and the armies they're like, Ugh, forever. Yeah. Forever. Literally. And, you, and I should say for like, hey, well, I mean. <laughs> well, like, like, not me. Oh, okay, so how did you? I, I'm no, 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 not this one, not this one. Oh, okay. Huh? How did you? Come no, I'm talking about. Uh, were you extortion? There? Yeah, yeah, extortion. The FBI, oh, okay. the FBI HRT, the United States FBI has uh, uh, in Washington State has a wing that practices terrorism, domestic terrorism. They enact mm -hmm. domestic terrorism. They gather counterintelligence on U.S. soldiers. I mean, all kinds of shit. But so I start paying attention, right? And these fuckers are starting, you know, they're not supposed to be doing drugs already. Right? They're not supposed to be doing that shit already. But as the day goes by, like a full 24-hour period, they're like, Ugh, for like 10 seconds, which to me is like a whole day. Right? Yeah. It's not that long, but it seems so long. And when people hit the 10-second mark from their cocaine, they don't come back from wherever they go from. This is me sitting in a fucking fire line. These fuckers ain't coming back. For reals, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna check some shit out, just to check some shit out. Not even fucking shitting you. I get up, I walk into the garage. It's literally right next to the bonfire. This little garage area. I take like a I don't know if it was like a fucking car hub or some shit, and I stuff it in my shirt, and I start walking around a pool table, and I shit you not. <laughs> Someone tries to stab me. Oh shit. We get we get in a fight, and I don't say shit. I just fucking go sit back at the fire. I'm not saying shit. And people are like, I think Martin got too high. <laughs> so like, did Martin eat all his medication? For reals. I think my sister or my mom, somebody was like, did Martin eat all of his meds? And they go, why? Because he's just fucking can't, he's not speaking. Literally, they're like, he eat all this stuff. He's because I, saw, I, I used to take my meds at night instead of the daytime now. Mm -hmm. But they told me not to anymore because I sleep too hard. It's not safe for me. So literally, my family started asking, did Martin take his meds? <laughs> They're like, he must have. And I'm just like sitting there. Did Mark take his mats? They're like, he must have. And the day go on, the day go on, the day go on. And pretty soon there was no soldiers left. Just just the FBI that came out of the bushes to get signatures. Oh, what? Can you please get off? Huh? Can you please get off? Yeah, there was no there was no no um no no soldiers left. That's at my sister's house. So that's the Battle of Roy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, okay, so I gotta, I gotta head out soon. Um, but I just wanna say, I, I commissioned you for a cameo. Do you remember that? I was the uh, Poppy Chulo for Jeremiah. Oh, Poppy Chulo! I hope I got it right. I don't know how to do those very well. That was great. <laughs> it was great. He, he, he loved that. That was amazing. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope people do more of them. That's how I, how I, help. You know, so if you can tell people I did a good job, that's great. I was really concerned that I messed it up. I was like, Poppy, Ch I thoroughly thought I butchered it. No, it was it was perfect. Me and him have been me and him have been a fan ever since the my uncle Josh blew himself up and his two kids. We like we've been fans ever since then. And I was like, perfect. Game. Yeah, I try. <laughs> well, it's you. nice to know that you like. I get people tell me that, like, stop talking about that stuff. Eh, you're so bad. And then I got you kids that are like, we appreciate because I mean you learn some stuff for your career when you grow up, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's entertaining. It's interesting, you know. Clickbait. For sure. Pardon. What? I already asked you to get off. Mija, you're not my boss. You need to get off. This is like, this is like, I'm talked to like I'm not even a person.
That's true. All right. Well, I'm going to head out, Martin. Thank you for kicking it with me. It's good, good to talk to you, you know. Peace out. Peace out. Gaslighting. But, yeah, at, at my, at, at, at my sister, before I forget, my sister, because when we sat down, I was like, the FBI was here, and a lot of people died to, to steal some information. My sister agreed to take, like, $1,000 or $5,000 to not say shit. And at that point, for like the millionth time, I had I was like, I'm not having shit like my sister. I was like, fuck this shit. I had already cut her out of my life a million times. I made like a concentrated effort to bring her back into my life. But at that time, she took money to cover up with the homicide of her own friends, her own friends for some money. At that point, I was like, this is some bullshit. But then I have to, I, I don't know. It's just a crazy fucking situation. I am taking the space. This is something. It's a chill live stream. This is my family. It's not a chill live stream. It's psychotic. And you guys are all terrified. I'm talking. I'm scaring you. I'm. This is my life, though. Everybody think I'm a bad person. I know that. You know, they fucking beat me in, in Lighthouse Christian Church. Because I'm a bad person. They torture me. Lighthouse Christian Church torture me to try and make me a Christian like them. And all I could think about is I would never want to be a Christian. So uh, uh, at, 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 at the church I go to now, St. Andrews, they murdered somebody in that church to get signatures for my information to be stolen, and the church covered it up. And now everybody's nice to me because they might have found out something from another country. I'm famous in another country. But in the beginning, in the beginning, I was tortured in Lighthouse Christian Church and St. Andrew's Church. Physically tortured, physically tortured, physically tortured, beaten at St. Andrew's and Lighthouse Christian Church. And now they're only nice to me because I remember. Like I put on my live feed, hey, they, the Sumner Police Department had to save me after some people tried to get signatures in St. Andrew's Church, and somebody was, like, a, you know, a fight broke out and somebody died. And the church covered that shit up so my shit could be stolen. But my forgiveness, I still go there, I forgave them, but St. Andrew's Church, some people there, they fucking covered up attempted homicide on me and my wife so my information could be stolen so they could get money. They were compensated, right? St. Andrew's Church was compensated for covering up the attempted homicide on mine and my wife's life. And while they were being compensated to cover up that homicide, the Sumner Police Department was out there risking their lives to get us back. Right? At, at St. Andrew's Church, sex trafficked right out of St. Andrew's. Signing paperwork for my shit to be stolen. Extortion right in St. Andrew's Church. I was sent to St. Andrew's Church for the extortion. Sumner, Washington. They sent me there for that purpose. And people died. And the Sumner Police Department had to fight for their lives to save me. Because after they got the signature, the order came through to kill me. And the Sumner, the Sumner Police Department didn't let them kill me. I... I got put, I put in the trunk of a Sumner police car. And they're like, he freaking ran away. I was in the trunk. They tried to kill me. They got the signatures at St. Andrews with, with the people witnessing there. And then they tried to kill me and ain't no one say nothing. People literally. That's what people see. And that's why I get so mad at my family. Stop gaslighting me. Stop fucking gaslighting me. All of this shit, so fucking the military pedophiles can get away. This is the fucking FBI keeps setting me up. The FBI, HRT, they had a whole hostage negotiation team out here with the Airborne Rangers. It was a whole scam. It was to gaslight the, my whole community. After they made sure that nobody knew really who they were and what was going on, 
they had the, 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 the people take my wife and some, uh, my neighbor Brad at the time, um, Sabre Construction, the owner of Sabre Construction, take them to the zoo so they could be documented by people as heroes. So people go, look, the military, after they're done killing the people that take care of you, they publicly parade you around as a trophy. So other women and children know not to trust the military or come forward. The FBI did that. The FBI hostage rescue team, we need to make sure nobody, nobody ever trusts the FBI while they think we're making sure people trust the FBI. So the FBI set up my whole fucking community, the FBI HRT. It's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. This is my, one of my neighbors. I'm not going to give names, but if you're looking, I'm looking out the front of my house. If you're looking to the right, <clears throat> offer like literally, if you, if you let me have sex with some kids, I'll let you have sex with my wife. That's the kind of shit. And they like, they don't understand why I don't like, I look outside, like I get PTSD, fucking memories, trauma. If, if you let me have sex with some kids in your house that the military bring over, you can have sex with my wife in our house. That's fucking gross. Do you know how understand? I don't think they understand. You know how fucking disgusting that sounds to somebody on the autism spectrum disorder? Like, you let me bang your wife if I let you bang some children? That's exactly what everyone tells me is wrong with the world. <laughs> That's exactly what's wrong with the world. And my neighbor, Jerry. They let my neighbor Jerry kidnap children and drug my wife and make my wife look like she's a drug addict so they could take children for extortion. The FBI set that up. The FBI, they have a plan where they get women forcibly raped and impregnated, and then they get them addicted to drugs so they can take their fucking children. It's a fucking system. Like, I document it. I'm like, look why they do this shit. And fucking era take the wolf house. They're like, they got your wife again. I mean, you fucking, this is a fucking brag. This is a fucking FBI HRT, and they airborne, they fucking brag. They're like, we raped another person. We got another person to kill themselves. They brag. It was a they fucking brag across the internet, and they don't understand why I get so mad. Like, leave me alone, stop gaslighting. They fucking bragged. They bragged. This is a fucking era of tech. Look at Martin's team protecting his wife. Six of them died. Six people died trying to stop us from taking his wife this time. Six people got murdered. The fucking Airborne Rangers. Terrorizing American citizens. Fucking terrorists. I'm binding my own business. Miha. They're saying I'm being calm and collective. Thank you for being nice. Okay. Yeah. You need to get off of there. Okay? You need to get off. The FBI. Murderers. Murderers. The police department. Covering up homicide for theft responsible for murdering all kinds of soldiers in the future. We might go to war with Russia, and if we lose, it'll be Pierce County, Washington's fault. Murderers, rapists, the Airborne Rangers, disgusting. Disgusting. So we got the, the Battle of Roy. This is the FBI and the Airborne Rangers for over 20 years have been murdering people to set up this deal with Courtney Hunt and my wife's fucking sister for over 20 years. That's a long fucking play. They've been dropping bodies since I was a kid. And I, I have no other option when, when they hurt me to pretend I don't remember till I can't take it no more. Literally my only option, they just been fucking murking people to set up these fucking business deals. They even had my son one time, like, and you my fucking inheritance. It was like, you're going to fucking help them steal from me and kill your fucking mom? There's a fucking Haley Hansen. I told my son, you know, they fucking beat your mom and raped her for this fucking shit. It's like, it, we don't want to do this shit. And my son, it's the last fucking time I helped mom get her job back in Haley Hansen. It's just fucking extortion. And you're participating in torturing me and your fucking mom. So shit can be stolen. It's not a fucking lie, me, huh? He showed up right here. I fucking streamed it with Courtney and another stream. I live streamed it with Courtney, and the video is saved on um, you, uh, Instagram, Digital Legacy. 
and then I live streamed it on Facebook. So it's saved on another one. So the conversation they thought was streaming was being streamed on something else. And my wife here, I need to stop lying so more people can be fucking murdered. So my neighbors can have sex with more kids. My wife's sister can have more people murdered to steal shit. My wife's sister can get her fucking mom raped some more. More money to be made. Right? My wife's sister, Nina, they get money. She gets a check every fucking month. The more she can get cover up these people that abused her fucking mom, the more money she makes, the better of a job. Right? You help cover up the rape against your mom, we get you into fucking Bungie, Microsoft. Because then you'll help us get to the men there at Bungie and Microsoft. You help us cover up the rape against your fucking mom, we'll get you at the children's hospital. That's an FBI, HRT, Airborne Rangers. So they can rape children at the children's hospital. FBI, HRT. Kelly Hansen. Fucking. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not messing my wife. I'm not, I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm sick of them fucking killing people in my life for these fucking business deals. I'm sick of it. And then they're fucking pretending like they're good people. Real life shit. So f f for my babble, my, 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 my linguistics, my wife was beaten, raped, and tortured. Somebody, so somebody could pretend they, got, they learned that shit for school. Somebody had tried to have their sister fucking murdered. And I need to, I'm like my wife's like, you're not impressed. I'm not trying to impress no one. Real life attempts on my wife's fucking life. The sheriff's department have to deal with it. The police department's all over. The security at Grand Man Lodge, an attempt on mine and my wife's life at Grand Man Lodge. A real life attempt, the security team. Now they all got to be like, they're fucking liars. The whole security team, Grand Man, they're fucking liars. That whole security team, Grand Man, they're all liars. For reals, since I was a kid, since I was 18 years old, been trying to get away from fucking Nina and the shit and everybody just be offering money and they all take the deal. Fuck Martin and fuck Heather. The money's too good. Fuck my wife. The money's too good. I get mad. I have every right to be upset. That's everybody. Screw your wife, Martin. There's too much money to be made. They all, Nina offered me. They offered me that dude that was beating us in the red car, a threesome with that dude and Nina and other women. All I wanted, all I had to do was give up the one I already had. They make me a millionaire. Nina and Courtney Hunt, they make me a millionaire. I can have a mansion right now. I can have a mansion right now. But I don't because the FBI fucking murdering people. I can have a mansion right now, but the FBI murdering people to cover up sex trafficking of my mother-in-law. And I will never let that shit go. I was like the 30th person they, they, they sent to save my mother-in-law. And my, yeah, like the 30th person. This is a fucking field police department. Martin, the one that survived. Well, he didn't really survive. He just woke up. Fucking Ron, torturing Mar Marilyn. Fucking Judy, torturing Marilyn, drugging her so she can't speak clearly and report them. Now, did Ron just do that to Marilyn and people in my family? Now, did Nina cover that shit up just, just on her mom? Or, or Janice Wood's kids? Did Nina cover that shit up on Janice's kids? Has Janice Wood's kids been sexually assaulted by Ron? And, and how many kids at the children's hospital are going to be raped because Nina can't say nothing? Because she tried to have her sister murdered to steal shit. And they start me over all the time. <laughs> all covered. I don't know if it's covered or not. <laughs> but I tell you guys, I need some assassins from my raw legion. My wife's sister and her family uh, secretly having kids taken out of the And my like, it's okay so it can happen. Oh, it's not. My, literally, my wife fucking people in authority right now pretending it's not happening. So it can and wife not understanding the gravity of the situation I'm in. She's here right now, right now, because the FBI forced me to kill some people so my neighbor Jerry don't go to jail for pedophilia and sex trafficking.
right? And they covered him for that shit because he covered up extortion against the U.S. military, tit for tat. I'm in this fucking house right now for extortion. And there was no fucking lying. And my wife's sister having people fucking murdered. Right? I told you that I don't know who Courtney Hunt worked for, but the men she worked for and worked for her offer people a lot of money. So much money, most of my family can't turn it down. They offer them a lot of money and they can't turn it down. They offer them a lot of favors. Right, and right now, I'm not allowed to see my mother, Marilyn, so her sister can cover up the sex trafficking against Marilyn. Now, I'm sure that her family would like to talk to Marilyn or do that shit one more time before she passes. And Nina set it up so that her family can threaten her or do that shit again. Nina made sure that her mom could be sex trafficked and he had no help. We had it reported. She never had to have a fucking hysterectomy. And Marilyn had been brutally assaulted and all kinds of shit. And through the thing, Marilyn, my sister, Judy, and her, her husband, Ron, like to do dress up. It get real violent. They beat the shit out of my husband. He tried to stop him. It get real bad. And Nina's like, how much money do I get to not say nothing? How much money? All we got to do is, all we got to do is have Martin fucking beat so he doesn't remember shit and attacked. All we got to, all we got to do is try and fucking destroy him and my sister and we'll get money. It's not a lie, man. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. During the investigation from my mother-in-law's... Don't start touching on me. I have PTSD. As God is my witness. During the investigation from my wife, my mother-in-law, Marilyn's hysterectomy, she was raped. And she confided what happened because I was there. And her story is my mother-in-law, Marilyn. My sister Judy's husband like to play dress up. My husband don't like it, and sometimes it get really violent. Martin. And then I go, let's. I'm going to report this. I'm going to report this. I get a hold of Nina. We're going to report this. We're going to sit down and report this. And you know what happened? Nina started getting a fucking paycheck, and I got attacked. Because I'm lying. Are you going to get up? Mija. I'm asking you a question. Go do your thing, Mija. I'm not going to get off so you can fight with me. I don't want to hear this anymore. I'll change the subject. You need to get off. You've been on your phone all day long. I don't have to get off, Mija. Yes, then you got to stop poking at me. I wasn't poking at you. You're here poking at me now, Mija. Go to your room. Listen to your, put on your headphones, do your space. I hope you can come. Listen, my wife don't want to hear this shit, but it's very important the next time I get attacked publicly. Isn't doesn't happen. Isn't when we got attacked in Winco, when they murdered those people at, 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 at the LA Fitness, those those immigrants, because they were just immigrants, right? So they bought, they didn't count. Their lives don't count because they didn't have fucking uh, 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 green cards or whatever birth certificates. Pardon? It didn't matter. Me, my 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 disability, my family gaslight me. My, I, I have a lot of murderers in my life, a lot of pedophiles. Okay. Stop, lo- me have been stop, talk, stop gaslighting me and talk to your counselor. Your, my wife counselor told her they don't need to see me; they need to see her for mental health. And she over here telling me I'm lying. Stop it, Miha. It's just getting worse for me, or you, or us. Stop it. How uh, you can't stop Because I, Miha, I don't need to hear you tell me I'm lying. Well, then start telling the Now we get to them. I won't be so irritable when you start telling the truth, Miha. I do tell the truth. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. We're, you're going to lie about being attacked so your sister can cover up homicide or your, your rape of your mom? My, my wife's sister. Covering up rape of her own mother to steal information for her sister for the chance to be famous, mind you. To be rich and famous. And, w- and when the military attacked me, or whoever they sent to attack me, for Ron and Judy to get away with that shit, my neighbor Al and Jerry participated. They participated. Right? I had people protecting me to stop this shit. 
They don't, they're not breathing right now. They're not breathing right now. I have people. I probably got new ones. But this is a, the shit I deal with. It ain't real. It's mental health problems. It lies. Before we moved here, I was all over the internet telling people what they were going to see. What happens? The FBI has literally forcing me into illegal activities. The FBI, terrorist events, covering up terrorism, trying to get an act of terrorism so they can grow their budget. They tried to fucking take out employees at a Walmart. I mean, they took me to a Walmart and like, see that person with your wife? It's not your wife. They're married. You should kill that guy. This is a fucking John, because John's men, and Nina's acquaintance. He killed those people in them, and then they're like, it never happened. He's a fucking lying all the time. This is a fucking lying all the time. And I was so I, I gotta have social media because I don't have anybody that will tell me the truth in my life. Gaslighting. Now you think about this shit. Ain't that why Josh Powell killed himself? Because the FBI wasn't harassing him. He told on the news. I'm being harassed and my family's lying and saying it didn't happen. And it led to him getting psyched. And they tell you, that's what happens when the, that, that's the FBI. They know that if you lie to someone, why you're, it, it, you do that? It, it creates psychosis. So I'm like, they doing this shit on purpose? It was like, it's very successful. Right? So, it, gaslighting somebody to induce psychosis to get people killed. It's what I'm talking about is literally the FBI training manuals to prevent. But see, you guys don't read, so you don't know that. But if you guys start reading some shit, you go, oh, fuck. They're literally doing exactly what they're not supposed to do. The exact opposite. It said, if you do this, Josh Powell will blow something up. Martin, and they do it. They fucking do it. They do it. They do it. <laughs> So, I, so I said, record the stream. I don't record this stuff. Somebody outside, there's a stream from outside you guys follow. I don't know who, I don't pay attention. And this one, I don't. It just is what it is. But that's the, the crazy part. They fucking dead bodies all over the place, but it's a lie. So there could be more dead bodies. Who, who is okay with that? Saying something isn't real so there can be more dead bodies. They can kill more witnesses. Who the fuck agrees to that shit? Yeah, I got small headphones. My big ones, like the, the bigger ones I have fall off. Public execution, man. This guy, he pretended to be saving me and my wife. I call him Hurricane Dorian, but he a, he a cold-hearted fucking rapist murderer. He worked for John. His, he was supposed to kill me, but he, he fucked up, and they did some shit in front of kids, and then they had to keep waiting for the kids to show up to finish the kids off, which never happened, luckily for me, right? John's men uh, uh, from Gig Harbor, they have to finish off some children. During these resets, I never called it. I talk to some. I talk about some things, but I never talk about the children that saw him doing what he's doing or he was doing. So they never actually fin they never actually finished the job. Since they failed the first time with witnesses, they need to get to those witnesses. Yeah, they got to get to those witnesses. But if some, if one of you guys can help me get a hold of MS-13, <laughs> Sinola Cartel, they will pay you a lot of money to get information to help me. Because in real life, it's training videos. If they can be documented protecting American citizens, it's, it's very good psyops. Russia, China, North Korea, someone, someone other than the United States military. Yeah, it's a super specific, super specific. Literally, they fucking murdering people all over. They murdered for Helly Hansen. They did not give a shit. The Helly Hansen employees, they're fucking nasty. They want, they literally, 
Kelly Hansen offered me I could have sex with all the kids I wanted if I would stop fucking freaking out and work with them. And I'm like, my job is international foster care, stopping people like this. They offered me, Helly Hansen, they offered my homeowner association to put a park in here. And then men have all the children they want to have sex with. Helly Hansen, that was the offer from Helly Hansen. And they brought women. <laughs> they brought one girl here for prostitution for Helly Hansen to prove that they would bring me any woman they wanted. And I told the girl in real life, she came into my room. I'm fucking like scared shitless. Like, I don't know if they killed my wife yet or not. What the fuck is going on? She came into my room with just a shirt on. They brought her to my room with just a shirt on. And I asked if they could give me some privacy so I could do my thing with the woman like a man is supposed to do in privacy. And they said yes. And they went out and closed the door. And I asked her, I said, you put your clothes on and you can just pretend like we did some shit. Your mom is looking for you. And I can't remember if she said, oh, my mom or whatever. I'm just, I can't remember why I said, like, yeah, one of your family members contact me to find you. Are you, are you on the run? Are you prostituting right now? Are you having any problems? And she starts fucking crying. She's like, yes, yes, that's why I'm here. I don't have any money. I don't have any food. I don't have anything for rent. What, what, what do you have to do here? Whatever you want. I said, what do you mean? She said, I have to do whatever you ask. I said, with who? However many people you bring. And I literally gave her my phone. And I'm like, call your family. The people that brought you here don't know this. But your, your family was looking for you. And she picked up my phone and she called. And I was so scared her family was going to be like, fuck you. She picked up her phone and she calls. And I'm listening. I'm sitting at the fucking edge of my bed like fucking waiting for the military to come in and fucking kill me or torture me for doing this shit. And she calls and she's asking her family member, Hey, I'm with this guy. And, um, it's pretty awkward. Um, he says you were looking for me and I got picked up by some people and brought here forcibly, you know, and they were like, Oh my God, we are like, where you been type of shit. And I just played it off. I just played it off. I'm like, see, I told you, I told you, and I'm, I'm sure she didn't know that they, they didn't contact me to look for her till after her family got her. But I played that shit all the way up until she got out. I'm like, they got me. I'm like, your family was looking for you. Your family was looking for you. Your family was looking for you. But yeah, I was tortured in St. Andrew's Church. So now I, I, there's a, I take nice pictures of Body of Light and Babel and shit like that. I only think it shows up there because they tried to have me murdered in that church to sell my book and get money for that church. That church covered up my, own, my hom, attempted homicide on my wife and me. We were sent there. to Like I got taken there and then I was ambushed and they didn't say nothing. Like in the middle of the night, we were taken there, me and my wife, and we got ambushed. People got fucking murdered and they were like, hmm. And then the, then the daytime, people got murdered in the church. So like in a little apartment, we were attacked. And then we got attacked in the fucking building. It's fucking bad. And the, the, the whoever was in charge at the time covered that shit up. Taking people to St. Andrew's Church to cover up sex trafficking through Catholic community services it is a known, was a known thing. I don't know if it still is. I go there and I be nice and I'm not trying to talk shit. But taking there to be dealt with was part of the bad guy's repertoire. I was originally like, I'd already been going there because that grotto had existed before that. And um, the military got some videos of me and a, and a, and a, and a, a, a unit with that grotto. I haven't seen the video. I haven't seen the video, but in real life, I haven't seen the video. But this is real life what it says in the file <laughs> from the United States military. It says somebody strung Martin up, spread eagle, hung him from the grotto. They walked up, <laughs> did a double tap on his ass. And when they went up to cut him down, they must have missed because Martin fucking choked him to death with his legs. And then people from somewhere showed up, literally.
And then he was talking about the Taliban. Time travel and the Taliban winning the goddamn war. Literally, this is a fucking real, real video and U.S. military follower and tells us about. And then he talked about how the Taliban won the war. Psychotic time travel shit. <laughs> Some said F. Helly Hanson. Helly Hanson, they paid off, they gave money to, I believe, my neighbor Brad. Because my neighbor Brad's daughters witnessed the representatives of Helly Hanson torturing me and my wife. So Helly Hanson gave money to my neighbor Brad, the owner of Saber Construction, of my wife's money, which is fucking crazy. So Helly Hanson stole shit from my wife to pay my wife's extortion. And they don't understand why the fuck I don't want to have shit to do with them. Like you stole you stole assets for me and my wife, and then paid extort. So they set me up. Series of setup. Westmore Homer Association is a setup. I'm here to be financially exploited and potentially killed. And hundreds of people have seen that play out with the help of the authority. 